The World Golf Hall of Fame features everything golf related, but people might not know about their exhibit featuring African Americans, the struggle for integration, their impact on the game. Now, for Black History Month, they've partnered with the Ritz Museum to give people another opportunity to learn. It was always one of our ideas to try to expand the story, take it downtown to Jacksonville. And he said, well, we got to talk to the Ritz. we got to get them involved. And uh, one conversation led to another, and the city came on board, and the Ritz Theater came on board. And uh, it's been a great collaboration. It's nice to be able to take the story out of our own walls. Sharing the story is very important. It's a hard story on some levels. You know, there's a lot of trials and tribulations. Yeah. But, uh, you know, where the game is now and the globalization of the game and... Uh, this story needs to be told, hopefully to inspire some young African-American children to take up the game. And, uh, you know, if we collectively put the resources behind it, we think uh, we can make a difference. Former PGA caddy, player and manager Arthur Johnson shares his first experiences with golf before he was allowed to play on a course. I was a 10-year-old caddy at Brentwood, you know, and I could caddy there, but I could never play there. So we didn't have anywhere to play. We played in the, in the middle of the street somewhere. My, my brother, myself, and a few other guys would make a hole in the street because we had dirt streets back in those days, you know? Uh, so it was very rewarding when we got an opportunity to play golf, you know, and people really realized that, you know, we had some great black golfers in the history of the game of golf. And once he was allowed to play on a course, his world expanded. I've been very blessed to be able to have an opportunity to play and be friends with some of the greatest black players in the history of the game of golf. Arthur expresses his appreciation to the World Golf Hall of Fame. Well, I'm so grateful to the people at the World Golf Hall of Fame to take the initiative to go out and reach back and try to, you know, and keep this legacy alive. Pepper Pete talks about the importance of the exhibit at the Rich Museum. Just to think about the rich history that's here, where people that actually live here in the city can just come right down here to really learn about the game of golf and just get a better understanding on what all of the pioneers did. She shares that golf can do great things if one is willing to put in the work. Calvin had a great work ethic and I think he would just want people to, kids particularly, just give the opportunity to be exposed to the game and just to really understand. You know, he used to say, you know, you stick with me, kid, and I'll take you places. You know, you stick with golf, and it can really take you places. Arthur echoes Pepper's opinion. This what me and Calvin was out on this mission to allow and let the black kids know that you have a chance in golf because it takes you a long ways in life. 75% of the business decisions this country are made on the golf course. An organization in Jacksonville has a 20-year history in laying the foundation for young players to follow a passion for golf. The first tee of North Florida and the first tee in this hole is a junior golf program with character development that introduces kids to the game of golf. We have nine core values, golf skills, nine healthy habits. I would recommend families and kids to really look into their local first tee programs. You know, the coaches there, the, the life skills experience, and what they'll really learn about the game of golf will take them far beyond places that they really thought they could ever go. I'm Rance Adams, teeing off for River City Live. Seems like it's really educational. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is super awesome. And I mean, Jacksonville's played such a role being the first coast with so many things in I the history. I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. How long is that going to be there, by the way? All right, so it's going to be through mid March, and they're going to be looking to expand it and come back every year and come back to the Ritz. That's good news, too. I hope that is what happens. If you want to learn more, go to RiverCityLiveTV.com. Click on the As Seen on RCL tab. Stick around, more to come.